My name is Peter Terren. I live in Flanders, in the Flemish Ardennes, which is a very nice region south of Ghent. Um, the first novel translated in English, my novel, is The Guard, which was my sixth novel. And um, it's about two guards who live in a very exclusive building in the, uh, the ground, no, the, the, the parking, how do you say, the parking space, underground floor where the only entrance of the building is. And, um, well, that's it really. Uh, the story begins there and ends there. Um, you underplay that story. I know we're going to hear much more about it. It is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic novel and very complex as well. Don't be deceived by Peter's very simple description. I want to keep it simple. Yes. <laughs> anyway, now tell, tell us more. You've written six novels, so we've mm -hmm. just had the one Well, that's English. the sixth. I've, I've, I've written the seventh one. Um, it's published in May this year in, um, in Flanders and in Holland. It's called Post Mortem. I think you say in English, and it's, uh, I'm so lucky, it just won the um, Dutch Booker Prize. How has that prize changed your life, your writing? Well, the past two months have been very busy. Um, the biggest change, of course, is, um, well, I'm a little bit richer. No, 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 I wasn't rich, so I can't be richer. I'm a, I'm a little bit more well-off. And uh, I have a, an, an audience now, a public. Uh, there have been, uh, I think so far, uh, I don't know how many thousand copies, but anyway, I've, I've got a, I'm reaching my audience now, which was, which is always for, for, a, for a novelist a very difficult thing. Uh, there are many novels, many writers, and um, it's hard to, uh, to fight for your place, you know, to, to get your audience. This prize helps a lot just like the Booker does in, in, in England. How important is it for you to reach an English-speaking audience? How important is that market to you personally? I don't mean about publishers and so on, but what do you oh, feel no. about that? I always regard myself as, as, a, as a European uh, writer. And by European, I mean I don't write stories that are specifically based in Flanders with specifically Flemish themes. Uh, I feel I am a European writer, you know, I feel more European than I feel Flemish anyway, so. Um, so it is great that uh, also in England, which is very difficult for a small country, for, for writers from a small country to, to be published in English is always very difficult. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, I can reach an audience there as well. Why did you agree to be part of this high impact tour? It's a bit mad if you think of it because it's January. Yeah. You're traveling around England, which is not known for its uh, lovely weather. I know, but I, I, I lived in England for a while. I, I, was in, I lived in York for the best part of a year. And I worked in London for, a, for a, quite a while. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Also, you know, to, to be on tour with, with five of my colleagues. Um, writing is a very solitary job. And uh, sometimes you, you need to get out, you know. You need to see a bit of the world and, and talk with people and, 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 and meet people. And um, so that's definitely an aspect of the tour that I'm very much looking forward to.